we gotta go on a rescue mission, guys. When I moved the chickens this morning in their chicken tractor, I found one meat bird that's not doing very well. We got a lot of wind and rain again last night, so I don't know if it got a little bit too wet, but I have quite a few of the birds all in here together. Because of that, the weather's not that warm yet. I figure this way they can keep themselves huddled up and warm. Better get some hay. Let's go get that Cornish cross and see if we can bring him back to life. He's not doing well, guys. Anytime we're not feeling good, we always take a homemade elderberry syrup with raw honey. So I'm gonna give some of this to this little chicken. I know when animals aren't doing good, they always say give them like glucose syrup. We don't have that in the house. So let's give them some elderberry syrup. We need to get you to drink something and eat something. There we go. Ow, she's got a good bite, I'll tell you that much. You like that elderberry syrup? He seems tired, guys. But he bit me pretty good. So hopefully that's a good sign. Tell you what, it didn't hurt, but he had a good bite still, so he's got some energy left in him. So that's a good thing. Now that the storm's over and we get our electricity back, we're trying to pick up and clean up a little bit from it. In between the raindrops, again, it's raining today. But what I need to do before we get too much more rain, I just made a janky little shelter. Luckily we had a uh, generator. I keep the generator in the basement. I drain all the gas out of it. Sure. Starting to rain, we gotta get the generator in now! When we built our house here, one of the things we hired out was we had an electrician putting our circuit panel in a disconnect switch. Tell you what, I was happy to have a disconnect switch after having the micro burst go through and we were out of power for a little over 48 hours. But what I wasn't ready for is I didn't have a cord made for my generator. That was a pain. That took a lot of running around to get made. We got it, so for next storm, we're more prepared now. There, now the generator's put to bed. The broody hen is doing good. She's being a good mother with her chicks. She's keeping an eye on them and making sure they stay nice, warm, and dry in this miserable weather. This is the chicken's first day in the new coop. They did not want to go up in there last night. I had to carry every single chicken in there and put them on the roost. I was not able to get the rooster in. He's going in now. Woo -woo. And the ducks wouldn't go in last night. When I came outside, they were all perched up in this tree. One of them was out and in that perch. Luckily, they're all still alive this morning. Nothing got them. The fence is live and it's 7,000 volts that it's putting out. So I think that's plenty strong enough to keep away ground predators. I was just glad we didn't get any birds in here last night like an owl or a hawk. Hopefully tonight, they'll all stay in there. Their food is in there. I'm not putting food anywhere else for them other than the coop. So I'm hoping they'll learn that this is home. As you can see guys, they're not touching their food. I think they must have enough food out here in the pasture that they don't need that. Hey lady. Now that is nice. Four fresh clean eggs. Thank you ladies. Thank you Mr. Rooster. Let's see how the gutters are working. I'd say we're at least half full.
off-grid water. Love it, guys. If we would have had that during the microblast, I would have been happy. We could have been using that water in the house to wash our hands with or something. So that was kind of cool, no matter what. As long as it's been raining out and that bucket's full, we're always going to have water out here for the chickens. We better go check on the piglets, go see how they're doing. We should be quiet, that way if they're napping, we can watch them napping in their wild habitat of the winter greenhouse. Let's check it out. What the heck? I don't see them anywhere. How'd they get out? What? Man. Where'd they go? What the heck? Oh, wait a minute. What's that I see? What are you guys doing? Oh. You having a good afternoon nap? Yeah, that's a good nap, huh? You had me scared, I thought we lost you. I thought we had you lost. Mm. You were just napping under a nice warm blanket of hay. They had me scared there for a minute. I thought we lost them. Whew, that wasn't going to be fun trying to find them. But they're just here sleeping under some hay, thankfully. Hope you guys liked today's video. It was a fun one for me, too. Whew. We'll see you back here tomorrow, guys, at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. They like the boots.